we got an event, we got products, we got puns, and not a lot of time. So let's put this together as fast as I possibly can. All right, so first thing we got, uh, we got a new tier of Apple Music, where this one, you can pretty much control any 75 million songs just with Siri. You can't like interact with the device. You can only act with interact with Siri. I mean, I guess it works for HomePod Mini users. It's five bucks a month. Next up, speaking of HomePod Mini, we actually got new HomePod Minis. Like nothing has changed. The only thing that's changed is the color. We now have blue, orange, and yellow. I'm much, I like blue. Oh, and by the way, those new colors, we can't get them until, you know, when can we get them? There's no information on that. All right, next we have AirPods. AirPods 3 to be exact. And actually this was something much more different than what Apple normally does. Normally Apple releases AirPods via site refresh because that is literally what they have been doing ever since AirPods 2. I mean, they introduced AirPods at an event, the iPhone 7 event, because they got rid of the headphone jack. Ever since then, AirPods 2, site refresh. AirPods Pro, site refresh. AirPods Max, Sight Refresh. And now they decided to put AirPods 3 in an event. Didn't hear that one coming. Okay, so yeah, as you can tell, there was a lot of music stuff in the event. All right, what else was there? Uh, we got M1 Pro and M1 Max. Uh, Max with an X. You know, like, hello, Max. That was horrible naming. <laughs> Who came up with that? How are you supposed to refer to Mac in the plural form that has the M1 Max? M1 Max Max. Whose idea was that? Anywho, um, these chips now have practically double the performance of M1. Intel's butt must be red hot. All of these CPUs outperform practically. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure entirely sure about their server grade series, the Xeon. Yeah, and in terms of the consumer Core i3, I mean, Core i3 and i5 and practically i7 was already taken by the regular M1. Uh, yeah, Core i9, uh, yeah, sorry until Apple took this one from you. This is crazy, absolutely crazy. Wow, Intel must be flaming hot with rage. And then finally, we get to my, uh, Biggest favorite part of the event. I am not Englishing properly. Do not at me. We finally got proper MacBook Pros. No, not the M1 MacBook Pro. Why are you buying it? The M1 Air is a much better deal, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, we got a new 14 inch model, technically 14.2, and an even larger, I mean, last one was 16 inches exactly. Now we're at 16.2. You know me, big screen everything. So, but also this is something, this is a first in the MacBooks Pro's history. The 13 inch and the 16 inch can be equally spec'd. If you were to max out the 16 inch and the 14 inch, the only difference in price is $200. What is that $200 upgrade going towards? Just the display size, that's literally it. So because of that, now I can save $200 and get myself a 14 inch because it will have the exact say that <laughs> you thought I had you. No, 16 inch all the way. I'm sorry, I do not understand why so many people value the tinier stuff because the screens are so tiny. Sure, it's portable and all that, but laptops are designed to be portable from the get go. I'm not taking this with me because, well, uh, it's supposed to stay on a desk. So laptops are designed to be portable from the get-go. Why is that a reason to go with smaller stuff? The bigger stuff is also portable too. Dude. And also, I've tried working on a 13-inch display. My MacBook Pro that I am editing this video on has a 13-inch display, and I absolutely hate it because it is too tiny. How the heck did 12-inch MacBook users work on that thing? So yeah, bigger screen. You can definitely tell where I'm going. So what did these MacBook Pros get? Well, yeah, bigger screens. Um, also, we got mini LED. We got Pro motion which is absolutely crazy did i also mention how top notch these macbook pros are yeah they got a notch now as well as a 1080p webcam finally what took us so long to get to 1080p webcams better microphones better speakers um in my opinion objectively worse io because we lost 
a Thunderbolt port. We lost a Type-C port, which is not good because Type-C is superior. We need to have it. Instead, they traded it for an HDMI SD card slot and MagSafe. HDMI, useless. Seriously, Thunderbolt solved the problem. SD card slot for you camera fanatics, yay. I just use my iPhone. Do I use SD cards anymore? No. And MagSafe, I mean, it's cool. I guess it's just showing signs that Apple is more attracted to pleasing its customers. Oh, and general design, uh, yeah, it does look a little thicker, but to be honest, that's really placebo. The way they designed it, it looks thicker, but it's actually nearly the same thickness as the previous gen MacBook Pros. So yeah, it looks, that, that thickness, it looks thicker, that's, dece that's very deceiving. I wanna warn you about that right now. That's actually very deceiving. It still deceives my eyes though. Oh, before I forget, MagSafe cable. Sure, yeah, I brought MagSafe back, but you know what? You can swap it for a USB-C. So yay, we still got the superior charging method. It's just, well, I'd rather have USB-C all the way. Also, no ethernet in the power brick. Why not? I mean, if the iMac can get ethernet in its power brick, why can't we get ethernet in the MacBook Pro's power brick and have that run through MagSafe? Give MagSafe a better reason to come back. And then we finally get to the keyboard. Still got the Magic Keyboard, and actually it looks a lot better to be honest. It's got the black keys, but also the black keyboard bay, I'll call it. Looks nice, I'm not gonna lie. We still have Touch ID, no Face ID, and that's a big problem for me because eczema, so fingerprint scanners flat out do not work with me. And then the most saddest part about the MacBook Pro, we lost the touch bar. E everyone, give me a second. We'll miss you a lot, Touch Bar. You are amazing. It's so great. <laughs> Why does nobody love you? And then the last detail about the MacBook Pros, the price. 14 inch, what does that start at? We start at $2,000 for a binned version of the M1 Pro chip. In fact, let me rephrase that, a double binned version of the M1 Pro chip. So it's $200 more expensive than the previous. Uh, 13 inch. The 14 inch is supposed to replace the high end 13 inch. Why is there a high end and a low end 13 inch MacBook Pro? It makes zero sense! And then what about the 16 inch? And this drives me so mad. It's $100 more expensive. $2,500. Why is that a pain for me? It's because I still don't have the money to buy this thing and I absolutely, no, I don't want this. I need this MacBook Pro because that 13 inch I got down there, 2011, too old, it's too slow, and the display is too tiny. So yeah, I need a new MacBook Pro. Kind of is definitely in the pipeline. In fact, it's actually the first thing I'm gonna buy. Uh, yeah, I'm not exactly happy that the price increased. Now, is the fact that the price increased the problem? No, in fact, you know, it's kind of justified considering that we got mini LED, 120 hertz, a notch, more, Nah, more ports doesn't matter. Super insane power. It makes sense, to be honest. I'm just not happy that for some reason Apple has to price their only big screen laptop at $2,500. I can get by with the M1 just fine. I don't have it. No matter what Mac I get, I'm coming from a 2011. That's my latest computer. This iMac is earlier than that. No matter what Mac I get, I'm getting a performance upgrade in anyways. So I can get the M1 just fine, especially if it's in my MacBook iMac, no, not the case. I definitely need the M1 Pro, but a uh, MacBook, I can get away with the M1 just fine. But the problem is they don't offer a bigger screen option. Ah!
Okay, right to side. So yeah, that's the MacBook Pro I'm buying. I just need to get more money. So that way I can actually get it and make these videos better. Uh, so considering how bad this is, yeah, we'll just end it right here. All right, thank you for watching. Do me a favor and interact with the stuff below. My name's Alpha Wolf, Random Alpha, signing out.